life, if you're going through crisis, if you're saying, Pastor, can you pray for me? There are people on the phone that they can pray for you in this moment. And I will introduce to you uh, part of my pastors, my, my pastoral staff that I have here at church, uh, Pastor Tommy, uh, Pastor uh, Teacher John, and Pastor Frank here with me. Welcome, guys. And uh, we're happy you, to speak to all those people yes. watching right now. Getting ready for the next supernatural, fivefold supernatural school of ministry. Yes. And I'm pretty sure those people that are watching, many pastors and leaders, and, and the 28th to the 31st of March, we will have next supernatural school of ministry. But many people are watching saying, well, what is that fivefold supernatural school of ministry? First of all, what the Bible says about the supernatural fivefold uh, ministry. I mean, we. Uh, when we talk about in television about uh, the ministry of the pastor, when we talk about the ministry of the uh, evangelist and the teachers, everybody accepts that. Hmm. But when we get into apostles and prophets, everybody goes, well, well, what do you mean? So, John, what does the Bible say about the, f the, the five uh, fivefold ministries in the Scripture? Where does it say it? Yes, it is very important. In the Bible, it talks to us in Ephesians 4.11. This is that God has put in the church... And then it gives a list of the church offices. It speaks about apostle, it speaks prophet, evangelist, pastors, teachers. And these five ministries were given to the church to prepare and equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. So the Bible, when Jesus left, he left these five offices, five ministries, to prepare, equip, edify the church. But one of the important things or interesting things is that we see that some of them have been removed from the church. Mm -hmm. They were there in the early church. Mm -hmm. They were there for the first, uh, the, the first century. The first century. Mm -hmm. But then we see that slowly they started to disappear. And we started to see that the church only had pastors, teachers, and then even evangelists. And we saw something else that happened that we didn't see the supernatural move that we first saw in the first early church. Mm -hmm. And it's because the apostles and the prophets had been removed and the church was only functioning with a part of the body. Some people say that, uh, oh, the apostles and prophets, that was old. Well, nowhere in the Bible it says that was for then. In fact, the pattern that was left to us by Jesus was to leave the fivefold ministry. That was his original design for the church, so we can't be taking them out. We need them today yes. as much as the early church needed them back then. Okay, do, can we have the impact? that the church, um, or let me put it this way, can three ministries like evangelists, teachers, and pastors without the apostles and prophets, oh, the church without the five ministries, can the church has that impact in society today? Why? No, no way, Apostle. Actually, following the lines that, that uh, Teacher John was saying, one of, the, one of the main things that apostles do along with prophets is that they bring revelation to the church. Mm -hmm. They bring a now word to the church. Mm -hmm. and, uh, there is no where does it say that? Ephesians 3.20, 2.20 says that. Yes, sir. And there is no way that the church could have its impact today to its full measure without a now word, a fresh word, a revelation. In other words, there, is no, there won't be transformation. There won't be manifestation to the point where God wants it to be in the church now unless that there is that revelation that is brought by the apostles, by the prophets, and to the point that God wants to take us now to be able to take dominion, to do our job as the church, we do need the apostles and the prophets because one of their main functions is to bring, one of their main jobs is to bring that revelation to the church now. I believe, now. Frank, that, that the measure of the mantle of Jesus uh, is divided in five pieces. Mm -hmm. Apostles prophet teachers evangelists and pastors and and I believe if the church does not have the full measure of mm. that mantle will not impact society the way it should be so I'm saying that to say you were mentioned that apostles and prophets are bringing the revelation revelation is different than doctrine mm. if the so. doctrine if I know many organizations, many denominations, they teach on doctrine. If, what about, can we say doctrine can produce a move of God, can produce a revival? I think the, the doctrine is very important. 
we do that. We got thousands of believers that mm -hmm. we put strong foundation on them, mm -hmm. but it's not, that's the first part of the Christian life. Now we need to bring a maturity. We need to bring a revelation, yes. put something in their life where they can be transformed and go into another dimension. Let's go into the practicality of the fivefold ministry mm -hmm. because we see that in operation in our own ministry. And we got churches around 30 countries of the world, and we see the fivefold ministry operating. And we see the supernatural like normal. Anybody in our church moves in the supernatural. That's right. So let's see it in practicality. Pastor Tommy is the one in charge of my, the people that we give spiritual covering. And can you give us an example? How you, you handle, with, you talk to pastors every day. Yes, yeah, so one, one of the things that I've seen and I've noticed is uh, the word coming to pass, it says because of the lack of knowledge, my people perish. And I see so many pastors struggling in other nations. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been sent out to pastoral callings two evangelistic callings, but they have not been given the right equipment to, to operate within their ministry. And, mm -hmm. and I see them struggling. And, and the wonderful thing is about the Five Folds Ministry School is that we've equipped these people. I've personally witnessed, witnessed transformations of ministries, of, of pastors, evangelists that have come here, prophets that have come here, apostles that have come here, and have been uh, not only imparted with the word, have activated, they've gone back to their countries and I'm witness personally the transformations in their ministry, transformations in their lives, starting with themselves and extending to the ministries. Some of them that had very little influence, were not even recognized, have now even influence in gov with the government. They have access to the government because of what the move of God, the change that the impartation has brought in the, the supernatural school. It's, it's been awesome to witness this and experience it, seeing churches that have come here, pastors that have come here with 100 members, 200 members that a year, two years later now have 2,000, 3,000, some of them have 4,000 members. Their churches have exploded. Um, their families have been transformed. The city's being taken. I believe, uh, uh, John, what is the mark of this uh, progress in ministry and the churches that we have. Most of our churches are the largest, if I'm not mistaken, in the countries and in the cities that are there. We've been sending people. And what is the mark of our ministry? Well, the mark of our ministry, and one of the things you see that is activated in the people that come to the supernatural school is the manifestation of the supernatural. Yes. In other words, there were people that maybe at first they didn't dare to pray for people <clears throat> maybe they had never or they thought that this was before and it didn't happen anymore when they come to the school they are activated and they start to pray for people they receive boldness and then they start to give testimonies i went to my church i started to preach and for the first time i saw these things happen yeah. saw people getting healed people with <clears throat> blind eyes seeing people that were deaf starting to hear all kinds of miracles and in fact the same kinds of miracles that we are seeing in the mm. ministry, they are seeing. They are, yes. Something is activated within them, something they didn't have before. When they come to the school, the Holy Spirit touches them and brings life to them. And when they take that back to their churches, it has that effect on the city. It has the effect wherever they go. The life of Jesus, the Spirit of God, manifesting His works through them. Amen. If somebody asks, what is the fivefold supernatural school of ministry is about? It's about teaching training and equipping, teaching, training, and equipping, uh, and sending out all the believers and leaders to move in the supernatural. We've been in ministry, my call, my mandate, my assignment for God, uh, when I was called into ministry, was that, bring my supernatural power to this generation. So we have seen the young people, the adults, uh, the uh, even the, the children, they pray for the sick. Uh, one of these days, uh, as a matter of fact, in one of the services that we had here, uh, this young kid, 12 years old, 13 years old, um, her, his grandmother was in a wheelchair, <laughs> and he was imparted here. We pray for him. I mean, this is one case of thousands. And he went back home, pray for the grandmother, and grandmother got off in the wheelchair. Yes. You know, yes. you want my youth pastor. Tell me what happened with you. And, and, and this is not just uh, someone that stumbled in one miracle one day. Hmm. This is about, this is a lifestyle. 
to move in the supernatural, take in the city, and go in and take in dominion over, over every area of society. Tell me what is happening in education in Miami as my youth pastor. Yes, Apostle, I can tell you um, that is a generation that is hungry mm. and thirsty for the power of God, for the supernatural thousands that are watching, that are desperate to be used by God. And myself, along with so many thousands of young people, uh, we have seen a, a mighty move of God here uh, in Miami, Florida, and, and all across the different churches that are coming. Those young people are actually doing the same because they are activated to move in the power that God in education. Uh, recently, we went to, a, uh, to a, one of our most uh, notable colleges here in, in Miami, and there was an there was a, a, a open field in which we gathered 450 students from the college that they were coming out of their mm -hmm. classrooms. We started preaching the kingdom of God. Miracles were occurring. People were delivered by the power kingdom of God. Kingdom with demonstration, not yes, only sir. kingdom as a motivation, a message. Exactly, kingdom with demonstration. And it was so impactful to see students crying under the presence of God. This is a, this is a college that suddenly this is never seen It's before. one of the largest in the nation. It is. And it was, so, it was so impactful to see students crying, touched by the power of God, getting delivered, getting healed. Recently, we went into one of our universities here in the area. And as, as we stand in, in the middle of this auditorium, uh, God has spoken to me about a young man named Stephen before I got to the meeting by a word of knowledge. So I showed up to the meeting. I called for Stephen. And Stephen was in a line waiting to receive a creative miracle he was missing literally one of his ribs mm. and as we were praying after being activated in many of the schools that we've had which another one of the main marks of our apostolic ministry with the apostles is miracles we were activated in the school we said we need to go into the streets and do it so we stood there we called for Stephen he stands on the line and in front of all of these 80 students mm. in the middle of this place God grew the rib of Stephen mm. and gave him to a creative miracle a brand new and was amazing and impactful. It's not just one person doing it. It's thousands of young people, like you were saying, moving into the streets, impacting education, the sports arena, so on and so forth. So we're going to activate you. We're going to pray yes. for you in a minute. If you're yes. a young person, if you are in fire for God, Pastor yes. Tommy, give me another powerful testimony. Tell me what you have seen in your own life and in the pastors that you pastor. Apostle, my, my life has been transformed personally. I mean, every morning I wake up defied to go to a new level with the Lord. There's no room to grow comfortable where the five-fold ministry, where the five-fold uh, ministries are, are being carried out and the power and the presence of God here. You, you can't stay comfortable. You can't become comfortable with the level you're at. And, and every morning I wake up defied to go to, to a new level. I see the Lord doing so many things in my life. Tell me one. And, um, well, before I used to hesitate before praying for people. Now when I pray for someone, I am convinced that they're going to be healed. I, when, when I don't pray anymore, most of the times what I do is I decree, I establish, uh, I, I proclaim. Give me I, one I example. I, I, pro, I, I prayed for a, a man that had cancer. This was about three weeks ago. He was supposedly, there was no, um, no hope no for him. Cure. And this was on the phone. This wasn't even in person. This was on the phone. Last week I received a phone call from mm. the man's cousin that the cancer had completely disappeared wow. from his body, that it was in, he was in total, in total remission, and that the doctors could not explain why, but we know why. Because when God intervenes, cancer has to leave. Yes. Sickness has to leave. Yes, yes. The devil has to flee. Wow. And, and it's so awesome. Just last, uh, a few weeks ago, I had a pastor from Guatemala. He's from a, 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 a small city way up in the mountains, and it was, it was sad to see something I see so often um, he has been following our ministry for maybe two years now, and um, he was testifying to me. He's been pastoring for 20 years as a congregation of maybe about 800 members, which is a very large congregation for a small city. And uh, he was sharing with me that he said once he started watching our programs and started following, um, someone gave him a DVD from one of your mm. preachings, and he was just 
he was just overwhelmed. And he sat in my office and he literally cried out. He said, I've been pastoring for 20 years. And I just mm. realized when I first saw Thank that you, first Jesus. DVD that all I had was religion. But I don't want mm. religion anymore. I want what you have. I'm hungry for what you have. I desire. He was literally just crying out in my office. The presence of God fell in our office. And that man was here with us for maybe about 10 days. And I, I'm convinced that his whole congregation is going to be transformed because of the impartation he's received here. The testimonies, if you just allow me one more, yeah, the, yeah. the testimonies of some pastors, they're so hungry. I've, they sell cars. They sell properties. And I have testimony after testimony. They come here just to one of our services, and they have come back transformed. Their congregations have been transformed just of the impartation that we have in the house and what the Lord has given us. It's such a blessing to see this testimony after testimony. This can happen to you yes. if you come the 28th or the 31st of March, the Fivefold Supernatural School of Ministry. What about the intellectual people? In the Western countries, we are satisfied with knowledge. I believe in knowledge. I am graduated from ORU or Rubber University and other universities. And I believe in knowledge, but I believe more than knowledge, we also need to demonstrate. It is easy to preach something that we cannot demonstrate. So, John, you're an intellectual. You graduated from MIT. You graduated from Michigan University. So there's many people. What testimonies do you have? Have you seen the power of God in your yeah. life? Tell me. I have seen the power of God, and not only that, I've also seen, even among Christian ministers, how they have just stood in the Word but not believed the power of God. Mm -hmm. I was in a meeting of Christian university presidents, leaders, and there was a gentleman, and he had a, a hip problem, and he couldn't walk well. And I went up to him when he was in private to pray for him. And when I told him, I'm going to pray for you. And then he said, thank you, brother. And I said, no, I want to pray for you. And he looked at me and his eyes opened like this. He said, right now? In other words, he was expecting a sympathy prayer that yeah, sometimes we're used to doing, yeah. which is, oh, Lord, bless the brother yeah, in his yeah. pain and he's going <laughs> through life. He was not expecting to be healed. He was not expecting a prayer like that. Jesus never operated that way. Yes, yes, yes. I went to a graduation, and the president of that university had to leave because she had back problems for so long. And I said, after the service, they told me she had to leave because of the back problem. I said, where is she? I want to pray for her. And they said, no, she's gone. So I called, and I said, I need to talk to her, because I'm going to pray for her, either in person or over the phone. She called me back. I prayed for her over the phone, and she immediately started to say, the pain is going away. She said, I'm feeling better. And she gave me thanks and hung up the phone. And I said, Lord, I thank you, because I know that she's going to call me again, saying that it's fully gone, because the word was released, and Amen. she started to experience it. And it was not like maybe a week or two later, she calls me back Amen. and she gives me the test. I didn't call her. I said, Lord, she's going to call me back when she has the full testimony. She called me back. She says that she feels 100% better and she's now fine. And the people in their school are so happy because of that. The supernatural power of God is for everyone who can believe. Yes, there you go. And I believe the fivefold, the five ministries from Ephesians 4.11 are so important, so vital to bring the body. If we reject one, we are rejecting a portion of the measure of the mantle of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I invite you to come. You will be teach, you will be taught, you will be trained, you will be equipped for you to be part of this army that God is raising. Thousands and thousands of testimonies of people. As a matter of fact, last school of ministry that we had, we had three testimonies of people being raised from the dead yeah. documented i'm not talking about somebody that pretended to be dead they were, they were <laughs> dead documented so this is so important for you to be here and 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 be activated in the supernatural i love you i thank you and i know i'm very sure frank i want you to pray for those young people that yeah. are hungry for the supernatural Yes. You got 20 minutes. Yes, or 30 right, seconds. Right there where you're watching, we challenge you to be here and we declare that as yes. you come and there where you're watching, yes. you are that generation that yes. God will raise to take dominion in your colleges, in your yes. universities, or rise up. Yes. The power of God is there where yes. you are right now. We release that. We declare impartation yes. that was upon this apostle's life and this ministry. We yes. declare it yes. over your life yes. that you will go into your schools, raise the dead, cast out demons, heal the sick, and move. You are God's chosen generation to bring His supernatural power now.
Amen. God bless you. Supernatural Five-Fold Ministry School, uniting influential leaders to be activated in God's supernatural power. Did you come with a desire to change? If you feel you're stuck and you just reached a place, I think it's time God, God will do, do something, something in your life. life. It's going to be an exciting event. You don't want to miss it. Whatever your path God has sent you on, whether it be in government or ministry or education, wherever God has placed you in business, you need to come. You need to experience this, this event, and you need to leave here empowered with His wisdom, with His glory, with this cover. It's going to be a release of God's supernatural power over your life, over your church, over your leaders, over your ministry. So you need to come. God wants to use you in signs and wonders and miracles. March 28th to the 31st at the Tamiami Temple. Don't wait. Register today at fivefoldministryschool.com. Jesus has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In his entire ministry, one could see an outpouring of miracles, which inspired awe and wonder in the multitudes that witnessed them. Jesus saved me from alcohol, depression, and drugs. Jesus rescued me from the streets and blessed me with two beautiful children, even though others said it was impossible. Jesus set me free from anger and suicidal thoughts. My experience with Jesus was that he healed me from a terminal disease. Jesus delivered me from mental illness and caused me to experience his love and his power in an intimate way. My experience with Jesus, he freed me from rejection and low self-esteem. My experience with Jesus led me to know the love of a father. My experience with Jesus was that he delivered me from lesbian tendencies. Because of Jesus, I never felt alone again. My first experience with Jesus was a supernatural encounter. God bless you, everyone. Uh, if you've been watching me and you never have an experience, a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. I don't know what you're going through now. And if you're at home, in your hotel room, anywhere where you are, I want you to repeat this prayer out loud. Say with me, Father God, I recognize that I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. I believe with my heart that God the Father raised Jesus from the dead. God bless you. If you did this prayer with me, I want you to pick up the phone and give us a call. And by the way, I don't want to finish the program before I offer you this uh, teaching on how to take dominion. How to take dominion in any area of your life. And this will bless you tremendously. And number two, this book on the kingdom of God and its righteousness. This book is used in many universities in America because this is a practical steps in how we can bring the kingdom wherever we go. Take our territory. The Lord has given you a territory that you need to take it by force. That's what the Bible says. So I, I encourage you to call and get this book and this teaching and I know will bless you and you can take dominion. There's a territory waiting for you. Take action now. God bless you. Discover your call and purpose with Apostle Guillermo Maldonado's DVD teaching. You are called to take dominion, along with the book, The Kingdom of God and Its Righteousness. These are available today for a special donation. Call us at 305-382-3171 or visit us at kingjesusministry.org. God is calling you today and inviting you to take dominion. Join us with Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and Prophet Ana Maldonado in one of the upcoming missions and supernatural encounters near you. Supernatural Five-Fold Ministry School, uniting influential leaders to be activated in God's supernatural power.
¿Vino usted con deseo de cambio? Did you come with a desire to change? Si usted se siente estancado, If you feel you're stuck, siente que llegó a un lugar, and you just reached a place, creo que es un momento donde Dios va a hacer algo. I, I think it's time God, God will do something, something in your life. life. It's going to be an exciting event. You don't want to miss it. Whatever your path God has sent you on, whether it be in government or ministry or education, wherever God has placed you in business, you need to come. You need to experience this, this event, and you need to leave here empowered with His wisdom, with His glory, with this cover. It's going to be a release of God's supernatural power over your life, over your church, over your leaders, over your ministry. So you need to come. God wants to use you in signs and wonders and miracles. March 28th to the 31st at the Tamiami Temple. Don't wait. Register today at fivefoldministryschool.com.